In this video, I'm going to explain oxymercuration and alkoxymercuration reactions. Here is the genetic equation for oxymercuration reaction. This reaction has two steps. In first step, mercury acetate and water react with alkene and in second step, sodium borohydride as a reducing agent. In the product, OH will be on more substituted carbon and H will be on less substituted carbon. Basically, this reaction is addition of water to alkene in the presence of mercury acetate. This reaction is oxymercuration and if mercuration reaction take place in alcohol instead of water, like ROH, then in product, instead of OH, we will see OR on more substituted carbon. The orientation for both of these reactions is Markov-Nikov, and OH and OR, they attach to more substituted carbon. The second reaction is called alkoxy mercuration. First, I'm going to explain a brief mechanism for these reactions, then I will explain a couple of examples. Mercury acetate can dissociate to mercury OAC positive plus one acetate anion. This mercury acetate positive, it's electrophile and it can easily react with double bond in alkene. Addition of this intermediate to alkene forms mercuronium intermediate. This intermediate is very active and water can easily attack to this ring to open it. There are two possibilities for addition of water, but water always adds to more substituted carbon. And then this ring opens and on more substituted carbon, we have OH2 positive and on less substituted carbon, there is mercury acetate. After this step, another water molecule remove one of these hydrogen and then we will have OH here and mercury acetate here. To remove mercury from this molecule, we need to use sodium borohydride in second step of this reaction. Sodium borohydride replaces this mercury group with hydrogen atoms and final product is an alcohol and OH it is on Markovnikov position. If we use alcohol in this reaction, instead of water, alcohol is going to attack to this mercurium ion and instead of OH in product, we will have OR. Let's have some example for these reactions. For first reaction, we have propene and react with mercury acetate, water, and sodium borohydride. We need to write everything here in product. Instead of double bond, we have single bond. Then on more substituted carbon, we put OH. And on less substitute carbon, we put H. CH2 and H will be CH3. So I just write CH3 here. This is the product for first example. Here is the second example. Again, we should write everything for product. Then on more substitute carbon, I put OH. And on less substitute carbon, I put H here. Addition of water by oxymercuration reaction is different from hydration of alkene using acidic condition. One of the best advantage of this reaction is this reaction doesn't produce any carbocation. So it doesn't go through the rearrangement of carbocation. If we try to have hydration of alkene by acidic condition, the major product for this reaction will be this one. Because first it's going to make the secondary carbocation, then it's going to rearrange the tertiary carbocation. For more detail, you can watch my video for hydration of alkene. Here, for this example, again, we need to write the product exactly like reactant. Then, this carbon is secondary, this carbon is tertiary, so OH should attach to the tertiary carbon, more substituted one, and H should attach to the less substituted. But normally, we don't show hydrogen in bond line structure, so we just don't write that. Here another example, this carbon is primary, 
this carbon is secondary so we should have OH on this carbon and hydrogen on the other carbon and primary let's have some example with alcohols here is the first example for alkoxy mercuration this carbon is primary this carbon is secondary so let's write the product with a double bond then on more substituted carbon instead of OH I should put OR so I need to put OCH3 here and then H here again we don't write hydrogen in this bond line structure this carbon is secondary this carbon is tertiary so we need to attach OR on tertiary carbon so tertiary carbon has also one methyl here and the OR is here so O isopropyl group and then hydrogen on the next carbon we can just don't write it here here we have primary carbon here we have tertiary carbon so OR group should attach to the tertiary carbon and then primary carbon should have hydrogen and here is the last example this carbon is secondary this carbon is tertiary so this OR group should attach to the tertiary carbon oxygen with three carbon attaches here and on secondary carbon we should have hydrogen thank you for watching this video for watching more video please subscribe to our youtube channel